Yo, it's your favorite stringer. Favorite stringer, Mains and Crosses here, and my god, tomorrow's October. Can you believe it? Um, we're what, 15 episode or plus in. I pre-record many of them, but today, you know, I felt inspired to kind of like, hey, let's get something fresh, something new uh, for, for this Wednesday. I got things planned out, but you know what? I feel, you know, I feel a new inspiration in life. Um, and, you know, I see everybody's grinding really hard on the internet you know stringing is always hard especially during the fall season right you know now we're in october you know some places tennis gets really cold it gets a little darker not too many people playing outdoors lucky if you have a lot of uh, indoor courts and there's a lot of players coming in but usually here in the dc metro area there are people playing outside but mostly it's like it's not as fresh as summer you know somebody trying to learn a new sport um you know people getting out there it just gets colder you know business goes down so during that time how do you keep yourself busy right how do you keep yourself motivated for one how do you keep the income how do you keep you know increasing your revenue or increasing your your clientele and um you know this is a great time if you can add promotions if you can do things that you haven't done during the summertime because you've been busy right everybody's been saying hey I, you know i'm too busy you know feeding the balls to the clients i'm too busy stringing i'm too busy this that and the third well what do you else do you have to do during the winter time so you know things that i reiterated so many times like do you have your website do you even have a google business um do you have a yelp have you claimed any of your 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 sites things like that and this is just great time to clean house you know all, all the nooks and cranny have you Maybe it's um, you. You have a website. And you haven't updated any pictures. You know you haven't updated any new prices, um, new promotion, things like that. Try different things. And you know, I've been doing a lot of listening to you know podcasts and reading. Obviously, not reading, but more eBooks on um, the future, right? And it seems like we're heading toward a direction where automated things, things that doesn't need that middle management is going to go straight to the hey the end user and what i mean by that is like hey we don't need any more you know mid-level managers right if you run a you know a stringing company you might not need the middleman you can go straight to the source where you can directly contact wilson you can directly contact Salinko. um the internet's in your hand you're just an email away and it doesn't hurt you know maybe you haven't Maybe you've been buying reels off of friends, um, people on forums, eBay. If you're thinking about having a serious business, right? Start cold emailing some of these companies. And, you know, who doesn't like money, right? And to open an account nowadays, I'm sure all the reps out there are like, hey, I would love to have your business. And everybody's asking, like, what's the best way to, like, profit, you know, off your strings? It's, I think it's, I think it's the relationship between you and your your you know maybe your rep maybe a website that you go to you want the maximum maximum return uh you know in 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 your strings and in your in of course your service uh, if you're selling over grip things like that um you gotta look at that so wh what i mean was a hey cold call Solinko, cold call wilson's some other blah blah you never know maybe certain areas rep are more lenient and they change all the time so you never know you know say hey do you have the rep for northern virginia things like that who's that right you contact them say hey i'm starting my business i would like to make at least an order of like a thousand bucks you know what's your minimum and they'll be like okay here's two three thousand bucks and if that's feasible then great but usually they'll give you a better deal um you know maybe they'll be like hey if you buy three reels i'll give you one free and that's a solid deal already um Maybe it'll give you a wholesale price, maybe different tier pricing. I don't know, right? Uh, I've been through it all. So that's how we first started out. You know, I remember just cold calling a lot of companies, Diadem, Selenko, Wilson. And then, you know, things work out. They hear your name, you do good work, and they might want to work with you. And I think in this type of gig economy, peer-to-peer, -peer, P2P, um, business to peers probably, or business to community, uh, why not, right? They need just as much help as we need them so if we're like hey we're serious we're trying to get a company going on here i need a little help on the material what can you do for me right and then from then you decide okay wilson gave me this Linko gave me this 
um, Yonex gave me this, whatever, right? What What's the best price? And you go with that, right? Because you got to believe in your product. And I think that's one of the things that sells is, you know, you can have all the strings in the world, but if you never played with it, you never used it, you never felt it, you know, impacting a ball, how can you really, really respond for it, right? So, and I, I know as a stringer, you know, you're like, I can't play test everything and, you know, string is subjective, but you got to at least know something. And remember going back to what I've said in other things, keep it simple, stupid, right? Keep it simple. Don't have too many inventories. Have enough inventories. Um, first, when you start out, have enough where you can kind of learn all the products and keep a tight product list, right? Keep it tight because what's going to happen is you're going to have too many things and you're going to kind of forget certain um, qualities on these type of strings and you forget about, hey, you you know, there's a many different technologies, many different string types, um, names, brands, things like that. You just kind of get caught up in, you know, what's selling the most. So if you had Hyper-G, you had Revolution, you have Outlast, and you have PTP, you have um, Polytor, Air, whatever, you know, it's just, unless you know your products in and out, you know, that it's going to be really hard for you. So I would keep it simple, you know, just start off with, with a couple, you know, whatever that's best bang for your bucks, you know, get a couple, you know, synthetic gut, poly, multi, what else do you need, right? Keep it simple and just start making money off of that, right? Get a reel, get a couple rackets in, maybe pay for the reel. The rest, kind of pocket, reinvest. Always reinvest into your business. This is not like the stock market. I want you to reinvest into your stringing business. All the money you made, things like that. Maybe you're saving for a new machine. Maybe this, that, and the third. I don't know, but I want all that money with the tennis. Obviously, should help out, you know, with your beer and your, your gasoline things like that that's fine i think i know it's like everybody needs money nowadays but if you can reinvest into your business make it even better you know maybe those couple of strings pay for the website maybe a couple of strings get some more grips uh, maybe some of these things get you you know advertisement on google things like that i want you to invest in yourself and i, and I think that's the best way uh, i realize how to keep on recycling that money because if, if i just took that profit of 20 bucks that i made from string and I, I go buy gas and there we go eventually you're gonna run out of strings eventually you're gonna get tired string certain things and you're just gonna have to like find clients just to make ends meet i don't want your initial start to be all about how much profit i'm gonna make even though like hey you want to make maximum profit uh so you can reinvest into your um you know business but it shouldn't be like numbers, 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 numbers. You know, I do iterate that so many times. Yeah, the numbers and the price increase on your, your service should go up. However, you should not like, it. that shouldn't be your only thing. And I feel like my next, my next uh, idea is put your money where your mouth is. And I have a concept where imagine you charge 45, 50 bucks for your service, right? It's pretty steep. However, you're gonna do such a great job. You're gonna guarantee them. If you don't like this, you can bring it back, and I'll restring it for free. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be great for you. I know what you like. We'll agree on something, and we'll do it. Worst case scenario, bring it on in. We'll take the cost. And that should be fair. I think a lot of clients will appreciate that. Just like Amazon, right? If a product you use and you're not satisfied or you like whatever you can bring it back and get a refund um string is different it is a material so it'll be like hey i recommend luxlon alu power i think it's gonna be great for you they use it two three days four days a week whatever hey smitty i've been trying to play with this i just not feeling it's not give it's, it's not giving me that pop i wanted um you know and i think just switching around with tension i let it i let it die down a little bit I even stepped on it, kind of, you know, loosened up the tension in the string belt. It just kinda felt too stiff for me. Dude, you're okay. How about this? Cut it all out. Let's redo it again. How much I owe you? Oh, nothing. It's on the house. Can you put your money where your mouth is? Is your quality that good, right? If you want to charge 30, 40, 50, 60, that's great. But what's the backing? For me, I think starting next year, I'm going to have an agreement. It's like, hey... We're going to charge X amount of money and whatever it is, whatever the issue the client possibly may have, you tell them, hey, 
if this is not right you come back and we'll get it right on the house it might take one time might take two time but i want you to be happy you're paying 45 to 50 dollars for this string i want you to be happy i want you to find the right string we want you to be playing at your top performance isn't that a great idea to try out if you're so good if you believe like hey i do this crosses the, the greatest crosses straight mains are straight tie off is good i got my um my ursa certification um if you if you can back all that up why won't you give 100 percent money back or refund policy and i feel like he's like, hey it's on them you know uh i i don't i don't make the strings up man that shouldn't be fair all right and i feel like clients could respect that when you're like hey you know what we're gonna give you plenty of opportunities if it's not feeling right i want you to bring it back and we'll find you the right one it might take once or twice but we're gonna get it maybe after the third time reiterate hey maybe we're just not syncing up correctly let's do it one more time but after this you know i gotta you know charge you for that something like that you know but that's gonna be my new year thing it's gonna be like hey we're gonna give you guarantee on every single string that comes out of our machines and out of mains and crosses we're going to charge this one time and if you have any issues within the next you know two or three weeks i want you to come back and we're going to fix it immediately for you until you like it give me call back give me feedback i text my clients sometimes i just i know they they enjoyed it so i'd be like hey how's everything going oh it worked out great i won that match whatever but i think that's the future that's the future of customer service they're going to appreciate that and they're so used to it because they're used to what next day delivery by Amazon right they're used to you know free refunds or you know return if they're not happy right they're so accustomed to that everything's like oh I don't like it I'm just gonna go to the Amazon store and just drop it off or you know return I think that's how we push in 2025 guys I I, I can't wait we got like literally less than like two three months right well, I guess at this point it's it's two months but I'm excited for the future guys and you know this is just kind of an idea to give to you guys this is what we do this is what we do as amazing crafts we consult people on how to kind of move amongst this space because some people's like hey how do i get started how do i get the best pricing and that's the secret that it's not a secret it's like one of those openings that go cold call some of these clients get to your network do that networking um you're, you're in forums you're in all these group chats things like that find out who had contact with these things in worst case, even if you don't get the contract, find somebody that might have it. Don't, you know, I feel like a lot of people think it's like, well, I'm going to do it my own way. I don't need anybody's help. That's dumb. You know, we live in a society where it's just so easy to contact and ask for help. And I feel like a lot of people go into this rabbit hole and just want to do it all alone. And just like, I'm going to be the man. I already did that. I don't want you guys to go on the same path. Like I had to do everything by myself. Nobody was going to give me a discount. Nobody's going to give me a break. If I went to, um, you know this other competitor somewhere is like hey can you hook me up with some reels at a price i'm starting my own business i'll be like are you crazy get out of the way i'm trying to run a business no everything right now is that it's peer-to-peer -peer. it's you know the whole uber the ride share things like that society's becoming more i feel like human i feel like this social media yes this has so many bad things but you know it brings us together across the world and if somebody in your state cannot do it for you maybe somebody in texas maybe something um across the pond shoot imagine like that like hey somebody in japan would willing to send you stuff for a, a good price versus somebody in your states and you're like dude shame on them shame on your neighbors shame on all the stringers in your network because i had to get my strings from freaking japan taiwan singapore thailand use your network and i, I i'm realizing that there's a lot of great stringers and nice stringers out there drew call drew up everybody know who drew is guys you know next level stringing there you know he has a whole bunch of strings i'm sure if you dm and hey cut me a deal man uh you know uh let, let's let's make this happen and he's gonna be like hey you know what he's always trying to help people out he's trying to give you some knowledge on strings so shout out to drew mike stevens he might be busy all the time but he got some connections here or there um who else matt praviti salinko guy you can probably ask him some vin you know what well, 1 a.m or it's 1 p.m he's sleeping all day now it's 1 p.m I'm, I'm not gonna say 1 a.m anymore it's gonna be 1 p.m he's sleeping all day yeah, he has some connections dude he works for all over sorts of things i'm sure they have plenty of inventory they want to get rid of right sometime 
I, I can't get rid of um, Luxalon Lime. And it might not be the string you want, but you're going to get a good price on it. And it's still Luxalon. Why not? Guys, I hope you have a great rest of the September. It's just a day away from October. Halloween, Ghost Ghouls coming out. Let's keep this going on. I do appreciate the likes, thumbs up, the follow. Um, I hope I keep it simple for you guys. I feel like these small little motivational things is uh, is what we need, especially in the streaming world. This is so many. We're, we're underappreciated and we're, we're overworked. There's not enough of us. So this is one of the way we can kind of get back, right? This is one of the way we can be like, hey, let's give uh, let's give an uppercut to some of these major brands who gives us no credit right it might pat you on the back but at the end of the day unless we're on kellogg's box unless we're on you know uh the grand slam you know freaking stadium walls unless they show us all the time what we do uh, i feel like we're not we're underappreciated and, and i'm gonna still fight as much as i'm tired i'm still gonna do it you know i felt like a lot of people you know i walked you know in their footsteps and they probably burnt out just like I did. I seen many people that like, they had a great, you know, Instagram. They had not Instagram. They had a great YouTube channel, and all of a sudden they're like, "Hey, you know, moving on, doing some other stuff." Because this is it's tiring. It's tiring motivating you guys, guys, because we can't do it alone. You know, this is this is one team, right? We got to help each other. That being said, guys, I hope you have a great night. Peace.